they're off the tapes go back and with a, a bit of encouragement navajo pass blue cap has jumped off okay and he's kind of pressed global citizen for the lead on the run to the first they've jumped off with about 10 lengths top to tail and they've ended up going off fairly sharply here with navajo pass in front at the opening flight to global citizen navajo pass half kicked it to the ground and the leading duo have gone off fairly swiftly here and have established themselves with a 10 or 12 length advantage over the white-faced Tommy's Oscar in third in no great haste heading his other three rivals Hunter's Call in the noseband landed in fourth Garo de Juillo, the red cap disputing last place with Rocker Den as Navajo Pass and Global Citizen continue to give each other little peace and they'd be 25 30 lengths clear of their four rivals heading up towards the judge uh, first time Navajo Pass against the rail and Global Citizen on the near side and having gone off pretty swiftly here just perhaps dropped anchor a little but they're going along slightly more swiftly than they were in John Bond's race at this stage of the race half an hour or so ago Navajo Pass rounding the paddock turn with Global Citizen now dropping into his slipstream they remain 20 lengths clear of Tommy's Oscar Hunter's call Rockerden in the blue and white in fifth and Garo de Jouillet the big priced outsider last of the half dozen it's single file stuff Heading off down the back straight towards the fourth. Navajo pass by a couple of lengths now to uh, Global Citizen. And then this now 15 length break to Tommy's Oscar. Further three lengths to Hunter's Call in the noseband. Similar break to Rocker Den. And Garo de Jouillet a little bit remote. At the fourth flight, Navajo pass from Global Citizen. Tommy's Oscar over in third with ears pricked. Then Hunter's Call and Rockerden and Garo de Jouillet and Global Citizen on the far side takes on Navajo Pass once more through halfway. Tommy's Oscar a clear third. Rockerden moving up to dispute fourth with the nose-bounded veteran Hunter's Call. And Garo de Jouillet continues in last place and detached from his five rivals. Moving to the final flight across in the back straight. Four from home. Navajo Pass and Global Citizen dominated so far. Still clear, with Keelan Woods aboard Global Citizen glancing in behind in second place to see where the others are. Well, he will have observed that Danny McMenamin is getting a bit closer aboard the odds-on favourite Tommy's Oscar. He's about 10 lengths down in third, as Brian Hughes and Tevers Terp slip the field on the crown of the bend aboard Navajo Pass. And last year's winners making a bold bid as they enter the last half mile with three left to jump. Navajo passed by four lengths on straight into Global Citizen. Ten lengths to Tommy's Oscar. Hunter's call in the noseband turned on in fourth and then Rocker Den and Garo de Jouillet. So running towards the third last, Navajo pass being encouraged along by Hughes, clipped down the neck. Global Citizen is coming up to have another crack at him. Tommy's Oscar in third is only five lengths away, and McMenamin is sitting quietly. Again, Keelan Woods aboard Global Citizen in the pale so glances in behind, but Tommy's Oscar is bridging the gap very sharply now as Global Citizen takes over once more, two out. Might be a brief stay in front, however, because Tommy's Oscar has now come breezing through on the near side and forges on into the lead. So here's the uh, final flight. Tommy's Oscar Oscar over a length and a half clear to Global Citizen. Navajo Pass has run his race. He's going to be pressured for third by Hunter's call. Now McMenamin shakes up Tommy's Oscar. The response is immediate. And with 200 yards to cover, Tommy's Oscar is beginning to draw away. Global Citizen gave it a good go, but he's no match for the progressive seven-year-olds. And it's another big race winner for the Hamiltons. Tommy's Oscar continues his upwardly mobile profile. Big race success for Danny McMenamin. Global Citizen in second. Hunter's call third. Third, then Navajo pass. Rocker Den never threatened to land a blow. Uh, Garo de Jouillet completed last of the six. Well, Tommy's Oscar, the success well, story continues with Alan Ian Hamilton. Well done. What a what a hard watch that was, was it, Anna Times? Well, it was for a while until um, they turned in round the bottom corner and when Tommy and Danny started to stay on, mm. yeah, it got a bit easier. Yeah, he's a lovely horse and he tries his best, so... Uh, it was good. And Ian, he's seven years of age, he's, he's just improving rapidly, isn't he? Well, yeah, he is. I suppose he is improving. See, we bought him as a three mile chaser, and yeah. he's obviously, he didn't stay in his point to point. He's a two miler, yeah. isn't he? He's got a lot of, a lot of foot, a lot of speed. Uh, tough to best to have a horse like that. Good.
good. Yeah, and every year you're coming up with him, the likes of Nutswell, etc. But this horse just, he looks like, he looks a bit special. He's getting trimmed for champion hurdles that he could run well and, and maybe hit a place. Well, what's your thoughts? Will you definitely go there? Will you come and drive down for us, will you? Uh, if you want me to, yeah. Right. The only thing is the difference is he's used to a flat track, isn't he? Um, you know, he's, he's been impressive here in Musselburgh and not quite as well at Doncaster, a bit impressive enough. But Telton's very undulating, isn't it? It's a bit different for him. But I suppose we've got to give it a go. He looks a very straightforward horse. Is he straightforward? Adam he's Hope? very straightforward. Yeah, he, he just does everything you ask of him and he's no bother at all. And if it's going to be a goal for Cheltenham, I suppose this is the year to do it, isn't it, when the horses are well? Yeah, so absolutely. We'll see. Every year, David Hill won the Fox Hunters all them years ago. Yeah, yeah. Brunswick Royal. Uh, yeah. Not oh, well. They've had some fun. Yeah. That's fun. I mean, she's on 42%, which is incredible, isn't it? It is. Four horses. Yeah. So a lot of these new market Lamborn, Midland, Midland Malton trainers might be ringing up, ask you secrets to success. Yeah, well, they keep ringing up and Just say, I'll send you a horse, but we're getting too old for that now. <laughs> oh, no. Well, it's been a great success story. Hopefully, there's a few more chapters left in it. Well done. Yeah, thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you now. Thank you.